Hi, this is Rajin Finland, and today we're going to take a look at how do the nesting timelines works in DaVinci Resolve. Today's video is especially relevant for those of you that get stressed with too complicated and overwhelming looking timelines, or for those of you that like to chop your work into smaller pieces. If you have several timelines, you can also use them as any other clip to drag them into another timeline, as we saw earlier when talking about the media, and use them in your edit. The beauty of this, in my opinion, is that if you make changes to the original timeline, those will also be applied to this new timeline where the previous one is nested because it's using it as a media clip. So for instance, now I have this timeline 1 named TL1 with this edit. I have this timeline 2 in here with this edit. I have this third timeline here with this other edit. So now I can, for instance, go to this timeline 2 and then at my timeline one as an edit here. All right, this was a short edit. Let's zoom a bit. But you can see here that this will have all the different cuts that I have in the first timeline. Okay, they are just jump cuts, but you get the point and then the text. Now let's say that I go to again the timeline one and manipulate it. And well, an easy way to make this visible is to maybe change this text. So if I change the content of this timeline, whatever I have done here, it's obviously reflected into the timeline where that one is being used. Something to remember though, if I change this edit so that this timeline is longer than before, so now this one ends at 13 seconds, but I make this longer, this has not changed in here, this has not been made longer. What I can do now, of course, is then drag this and make it longer up to as long as that timeline is, as you can see, because I'm using this as a clip. However, what doesn't change in a similar manner is if I, I make this one shorter. So what happens here? In the place where I have used that shortened timeline, this has not changed because this was being used as a clip. What happens instead is that we get black space. The easiest way to fix it is to actually replace this timeline. So if you made it longer, easy to fix, just drag it. If you make it shorter, you don't get the new length in here. That would be nice that here where we would have the place where the actual timeline ends on the original one. Then let's remove this one because you might want to drop your timeline here, but not have them linked, meaning that you're totally happy with this, but you might be doing changes in that one for whatever reason. So what you can do here is then explode this timeline here or explode this clip we do that by doing a right click and decompose in place here we have exactly the same edit that we have in the timeline that it came from but they are no longer linked so changes that i made here they are not visible in tl1 whatever changes i make in tl1 they're no longer visible here one thing to be aware of is that this decomposing in place might overwrite other timelines. Let's take a look at this. I'm gonna undo the decomposition. So here I still have the initial timeline, but now let's see that in my edit, I decided to put it here for whatever reason. If I now do decompose in place, now it's pushing the rest of the edit in some way or other. That's something that might bother you or not, but be aware that this decomposing will actually change things. If you have clips on top and below, of those audio and video tracks of your original nested timeline. So now let's see if we can break this. Now I have this TL3 timeline here with some edited things. I bring TL1 in here. And now let's see if we can add TL3 to TL1. This would be some sort of cyclical nesting and it could cause some funky stuff. But it's just not possible. Well, that's a way to prevent errors. I suppose that if we go to TL3, decompose this in place. Now TL3 and TL1 are no longer linked and therefore this should allow me to bring it here and then it's possible. Yeah, so you cannot do nested cyclical timelines, um, no meta problems and I guess that's a smart move by the venture Resolve. I'm not totally sure but I do have some memories of trying this in, in earlier ver versions of Resolve and I believe that I managed to do some cyclical nesting, but maybe just my memory playing tricks with me. And as hard as we tried, we could not break this. 
I hope you find this video useful and helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and we're gonna see you soon for some more fun.